So let's see how to interface a gas sensor to a Raspberry Pi. First of all, we are going to be using MQ2 gas sensor here. Uh, MQ135, sorry. That's what we are going to be using to run the test. Of course, the same code works for one uh, MQ2, MQ7, and so on. So this is a gas sensor. Looking at it, you can see that it has four pinouts here. So the four pinouts are just um, similar to what we have here on the screen. Um, the pin 1 is VCC 5 volt, pin 2 is ground, pin 3 is digital output, pin 4 is analog output. So our interest is only on digital output. That means whenever I detect gas, it's going to give out an output at pin 3. Um, I want you to know that for a gas sensor, the output here goes to a zero or a low whenever gas is being detected. That means when a gas is not being detected, it's going to be on 5 volts. But secondly, 5 volt is not safe for a uh, Raspberry Pi. So for that reason, we're going to be introducing a resistor to bring down the voltage to a value that um, Raspberry Pi GPIO pins can handle. So look at this diagram here. You can see how the connection is being done. We are using a 2K resistor here and also a 1K resistor here. So when an output is being given out here, this resistor and this are going to um, they are going to share the, the 5 volt that comes out. I mean, when a gas is not being detected. So let's look at it from a different point or perspective. Now we have 1K here, you have 2K here. This is how the diagram is realistically. So this is where the motion sensor goes to, um, sends a signal with respect to ground. Then this goes to the Raspberry Pi. So now we are going to look at the we're going to see how we can interface this to it. So the resistor is just trying to prevent any voltage above 3.3 from entering. So it's going to divide the voltage and then um, you have a, uh, an appreciable voltage going here. So we have a buzzer here. In place of a buzzer, we may have to use an LED or a buzzer. Whichever one, if you have a buzzer, use. If you have an LED, use an LED. So uh, that is it here. So I'm going to first of all write a program that will do that. So looking at the, this output of the sensor here is going to GPIO 14 here. So it means 14 is now our input. So I'm going to change it to our input in Y. Um, this should be GPIO. Let's Check it out together. This is one, two, three, four, five. The fifth point from the end. One, two, three, four, five. That's GPIO 12. So we are going to be using GPIO 12 in this session. So this is GPIO 12. GPIO 12. And is an output. Is going to be an output here. It's going to be an output. So here is going to be an output, which is 12. Fourteen is our in, twelve is our out. So this is going to be twelve. Then this is going to be 12. Our input here 14 is correct. Output here 12. And that is it. But this time around, our button state is going to be false. Because that is only when there is a gas leak. It's going to be false here because that's when there is a gas leak. So I'm going to do false, and that is it. So let's um, run our program together. Uh, before we run our program, we have to do our connection here physically. 
So let's make our connection. So I, 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 I'm going to be using an LED in place of a buzzer. So the same LED, I'm going to be working with it. So this is my positive end. It goes to GPIO 12. So that's it here. And the other end goes to ground. Ground is just directly above it. Then this is our gas sensor. So for the gas sensor, the first one here being VCC, that's VCC, that's our 5 volts. The second one is our ground. Then the third one goes to our resistor divider. So we are going to be using 1K and 2K. So I'm going to get, this is 1K, this is another 1K. So I'm going to combine two 1K resistor to enable me get a 2K value. As simple as that. Then this is another 1K resistor. That is it. So so one end of the output of the gas sensor goes to this end of the resistor. So this is my 1K end and this is my 2K. This is the, both of these two resistors here represents 2K why this is my 1k they are all 1k resistors so i'm going to use this directly to gpio 14. so it's going to go to gpio 14. so i'll just get a mail and wire here that i can work with so this is our mail and wire So the male end wire goes to so the other end of the resistor goes to ground of course. I can just use the ground I have on my breadboard. The same ground works. And here is my gas sensor. So it's on right now. Now, it's meant to detect gas leakages, explosive gas leakages, butane, methane, you know. So I'm going to use this particular lighter here to get my gas. I mean, pressing the black end here gives you a gas. Rolling this gives you a fire. So I'm going to just press this to see if I'm going to get um, detection here. It has an LED that comes on whenever I detect a gas. So I do this. Can you see that? So the LED is on detecting the gas. So our sensor is fine. So let's now run our script. So I'm going to click on it. I'm going to um, start running. So right now, it's running. Sorry. One of these wires has pulled out. So I'm going to keep it this way. 